Hello fellow guardians, welcome back to Destiny. We're here, landed down at the tower. We have a crucible invitation, but I think we also should upgrade our gear. We haven't been here in a while. Got some things to do after all of our missions. Level 5, let's check out our character. A couple of you have been asking to see what's going on with this screen. We have an upgrade here for our Sina Jaguar gauntlet. So let's go to the upgrade screen and get this one. Increase the reload speed of auto rifles, which is beautiful. I love how like all the different armor and stuff is giving us boosts and modifiers to our mainline skills or our, like our mainline performance or our character itself as opposed to just like oh plus six defense like actual things that you'll notice within the game that's pretty cool um and up here we're working on well that's level 15 not going to get there during this beta but path forgotten training focus and toughness and speed we got our throwing knives we'll see how these things go we're also progressing different levels of these which is interesting so this can Gives us better control on the double jump, for example, that increases the accuracy of Golden Gun, and you can kind of progress your way down for, for more cooldown, yada, yada, yada. Well, let's go to some of these vendors, and let's check out what's up as we make our way to 8, which is kind of the, uh... Too noisy? Too noisy? You can't hide in the quiet of the archives all your life. What? Oh, you sound like... What the heck are you? Freaking Snape? This isn't Harry Potter. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? All right, which engram should we degold? Leg armor? Or pri I want the primary weapon Make one. The most of it. Maverick MK20 and some Jaguar. Ooh, building a set here. I can acquire these engrams. Gauntlet, body armor, helmet, leg, heavy weapon, special weapon. Do, can I use heavy weapons yet? I thought that was something we were going after, but maybe... Well, first let's go and just see what they picked up. The dark, My heavy weapon slot is still locked, but maybe I buy a heavy weapon... I'll be okay. Um, we got some boots here. Oh, they require level 6, but they're so much better. And they give us discipline. Um, here we picked up... Ooh, 33 tech hand cannon. Are these the same thing? The Duke and the Maverick? They have a 6 magazine. They're basically identical. Aren't they? Virtually identical guns. What in the world? Alright, so we... Let's go just see... Uh, uh, before I spend more money with you, I want to go to the gunsmith and see what's up over here. Hello, Banshee44. I'm approaching you. Oh, sweet! What I did at the Array, I gave him back some ancient recordings, and now I get to pick a heavy weapon! Yes, this is where we get it! Okay, Sargon Machine Gun, 51 fire attack. Kills with this weapon, grant bonus reserve ammo. Ooh. 51... What the heck is that? Shuriken attack? Inertia-coupled ram rounds. Wow, that sounds cool. Extraordinary damage. Is there a damage? Is impact supposed to be damage? There's not really a damage modifier. That's so short range, though. Um, a Jester rocket launcher. I don't really like rocket launchers. I'm going to go with this heavy machine gun that has fire bullets. A smart gel barrel bath sinks heat, keeps shots grooving tight, and kills give us bonus reserve ammo. That's pretty sexy. Look at that. That thing is sweet. Okay. Smart drift control. Purple ammo pickups. Penalty to range, we get more control, performance bonus, and upgrade. And solar damage. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this guy right here. Give me that solar flare, baby. Thank you. Gap. What? Quite pretty bad there. Bada bada booda. The gun's fault. All right. A scout rifle, a shotgun. Um, Shotgun versus sniper. It would be cool to have one of each. Although I probably don't need it so much. Well, Maybe we'll find a shotgun. These guys all require level 6, level 8. What do we got down here? Oh, this is just ammo. Should we buy this shotgun? Let's pick up a shotgun. It's not the greatest, but I want to have one in my arsenal for when we go back down to base. Alright, whatever you say. Whoa! Bouncing off trees. You got some strange... Strange repulsive sap, or what's going on here? I feel magnetism between me and you. Let's go out for coffee when I'm back. Alright, for now though... Let's head back down here and see if there isn't some armor we can pick up. The guy with the engrams has some armor, so maybe we can uh, grab it there. I don't know. This is the Crucible guy. We'll talk to him. Lord Shax. The Crucible, accept the invitation. Join the ranks of... Go Fine, okay. Don't drop it. Okay. I won't drop it. I'm sorry. This guy has some sweet armor. One horn, furry shoulders. I want to be like you. Ooh, ooh. Okay, there you go. All right, bye. Now the Crucible Quartermaster... All right, these are weapons for just... Oh, my God. <laughs> Level 20, 358 attack? Are you serious? I can't buy any of these because I need crucible marks. Relic? What is all this stuff? Oh, maybe that's for my spin metal. 
All right. If I have 40 of them, I can exchange it for something or another. I currently have zero Vanguard marks. That's for legendary weapons. Oh, I'm going to love this game so much. Crucible marks, legendary weapons. I don't have none of that. Okay, we can go back to the orbit and partake in multiplayer. Although, what is this mark here? Can I talk to these people? Warlock. What's up? Oh, I probably don't want anything from you. Let's check out our Vanguard. Anything new from you? Hunter armor. How does that compare? My helmet's better. Mm, Forester armor. Does it have any upgrades? No. A lot of this stuff that they, they have is pretty basic, huh? Forester gauntlets. Requires level 8. Element of the Dead Sun. Um, why might I have Vanguard rank 2? I'm... I, I guess it's for this thing. I gotta get more Vanguard marks or something. Hunter Vanguard. Oh, maybe it's because I'm not a right, Vanguard right yet. Here. I'm just a... Just a hunter. Okay, let's go back to the engram guy real fast and just see if there's anything we want to buy from him. Um, currently, I feel pretty good. We got our heavy weapon slot. I'm going to ride the shotgun for now, just for the heck of it. Auto rifle. Um, pulse rifle. We got some crazy hand cannons, but the marshal is looking pretty sexy for us. I really want to level up. I want to do multiplayer as well. Do you guys want to see multiplayer? Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do the crucible multiplayer, which is like the competitive stuff, um, which I think could be pretty fun. Have we talked to you? Yeah, you're the letter man. Letter man, letter man, wearing that jacket. Ain't got no plans, but you're really gonna crack it. Get out of my way, true MC fanboy. Alright, so I can acquire these engrams. Do you wanna get a body armor engram just for the heck of it? I want to, let's see. Boom! Forester 2.1b. And I got 50, what is that, grimoire points? Something like that. Come back soon. Come back soon. Alright. Um, so this is 22. Uh, yes, I picked up 2.1. I have Forester 2.8. What is the difference here? Do these have any difference? What is 2.1b? Does it just mean I have two of them? It's a little different. Okay, so that's that one. And then there's this one. That they look... I almost like that one better. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes the engrams don't pan out. Let's switch that up. And, um, still can't wear those. And my makeshift scarf. Looking pretty schmexy. What we got down here? Equipment. Well, that's all this stuff. My emblems. Alright. Um, was there anything else I was gonna do? Doom, doom, doom. I think we're okay. Well, this is my reputation. Okay. So my reputation with him, I can then get higher rewards. Wow, there's some pretty intricate systems, don't you guys think? It's kind of cool. I might as well not burn all my glimmer. Although, can I break stuff down? So, like, if I go here, what is this? Dismantle. Oh, I got five glimmer out of it. Eh. Ho, 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 it should have been more, you stupid man. I wanted more of that. More glimmer. I need to buy more cool things. We got to level up, though, because some of them require six, require seven, require eight. And I am five. Plus, I want to get my skills that I get from upgrading. So we got to go back to, back to orbit and back down to the planet side and take on some side missions here. We're not just going to run around killing random dudes. We're going to take on some actual side missions um, and keep our progress going good. Here's the Crucible, by the way, where you can go in. They've got multiple modes, but currently, um, or different things, I guess, different places where we can battle and eventually multiple modes. Right now, all we can do is the dead sectors of the Crucible. Where we can get some gear, some reputation, that'll be fun. We'll do that maybe next time. This time, though, I want to head back down. Um, well, we have the Devil's Lair, but I'm not level 6 yet. So I would rather get here. Um, let's get some Vanguard reputation. Let's head to the surface. Let's level up. Let's get some more Glimmer. And let's continue our destiny. Alright, we're down. We're back in action at the Picking steps. Up beacon signals all, all right. around. Sweet. Um... How do I switch to my heavy weapon? Okay, there's my big boy. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's use nav mode. Let's go to this one. Wait, was I able to see there was heavy armor for a second there? Did you see that? I swear I saw like a purple heavy armor thing. That was weird. I swear this is the one we already did, but... Isn't this the one about the data? It is. Well, let's see if it's different or not. The war cause has standing bounties for enemy tech from this location. Usual terms. Oh, wire. Okay, it is different. Even though that was in the same place, that beacon, we have to apparently collect all these different stuff from different... Okay, whoa. Holy meat. 
Holy guacamole! They're going ham on me from the start. What is this stuff? Wire wraps? Give me some wire wraps. These guys, Why are these guys dropping wires? They freaking robots. Alright, so we just gotta go around collecting stuff. So, it seems like the side missions almost are... I know they're not randomly generated, but like they are based on... I'm sure there's a set of them, but they kind of appear in different spots. I wonder if there's a direct... Pro oh my god. I wonder if there's a direct progression, or if they just kind of happen randomly. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. I thought it was going to be the same one where it's like, go here and research the area, but it wasn't. These guys are just kind of chilling. Ow. Boom! That was sexy. Let's get more wire. Yeah. All this wire. Lots of good wire. Alright, let's go find some more dudes. We're leveling up and completing missions along the way, which then gives us more XP, so this is a good thing. Drop. They're all level 2, so let's go to a different area after this. Let's get to a farther along area of Old Russia. We were talking at the end of the last video about are there going to be more areas in the game besides, you know, just Old Russia on Earth. There has to be, right? Another layer of map or something has to appear. We, we imagine that it will. Um, that was the wrong button. I wanted to do this. Um... Anyways, but a lot of you were saying in the comments, yeah, you definitely think that this is just for the beta and that there will be many more areas within Earth once we get the actual full game, which I hope so, because I don't want to just be in old Russia for hours. Mission complete. Great job. I'll update future war cult. Sounds good. All right, so let's um, pull out our sparrow here. And let's travel to somewhere a little more feisty. Actually, you know what? Let's go up in here. See if we can't... What is this? There's a mission available in here? Keep going? I like how we're just driving our thing through this indoor environment. Hello? A couple of you also let me know that I missed some chests along the way, so I'm gonna try to really... Ooh, is this a... That's not a chest, is it? I am supercharged. Sparrow, be a good boy. There's a mission in here. Oh, there's also this guy! Hello, level one shank. Why are you guys level one? This area had stronger guys last time I was here. What you doing, bro? Alright, so we'll just, I guess, remove these dum dums. We only take a couple shots. Alright, don't even want to waste much ammo on them. The mission looks to be through. Whoa. The mission looks to be through here. Keep your eyes peeled for chests. Ooh, what's up here? No, it's just back there. Okay. Doors won't open. Can we jump through? Yeah, all right, good. Ooh, what's in here? Stinky sacks? Big daddy heads? What the heck is going on? Robotic volleyballs? Keep going. Where is the mission? I hope we go to an area with stronger enemies. Yes, good. We're out here in a new area with new missions. I see a beacon right over here. Let's go grab it. And I gotta get some purple weapon ammo. Guardians, the darkness is starting to rise in this area. Okay. Help push it back. <sighs> Punish the enemies of the light for committing forces, so we gotta just kill enemies. Alright, so this is this is where it kinda gets real MMO like. You feel like you're just stirring the oatmeal. You feel like you're just doing work on guys to clear the area, kill some stuff off, <laughs> do as you're told, collect ten rabbit pelts. And this is probably the, it's not like the most interesting, obviously, because the design is like, hey, go do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But it fills in the gaps between the missions, and I guess gives you a chance just to mess around, um, like, with your friends, or just you want to pick up some extra XP or build your character. I feel like the meat and potatoes of the game is going to be the actual missions, of course, and I hope that those are plentiful. I hope there's a lot of them, because I would rather spend most of my time doing that. We didn't even try this out yet. Let's get it going. What's up, Tank Commander? Um, I hope that most of the game is that, and there's a lot of missions, because I would rather be doing that for a long time than doing this. You know what I'm saying? This is a sexy shotgun. I like that. Give him that oomph stuff. Kiss me in the face. Hug me right now before your disgrace. I'm going to get you out of here. Smack dab right in the freaking ear. I go shot, shot, shotgun blast. Dreg, get out of here. You're not going to last. Face through that wall. That's a cheap trick. Give me all your goodies. I am so freaking sick. All right. What else we got here? That was a freestyle rap. I learned it from Drake. All right. Let's go. Get at me. 
53% of enemies killed. Now we're facing off against some a little bit better foes, you know, level fours, level fives, and now we're able to actually like build up our uh, boost our meter, 25 XP gains, stuff of that nature. Some guys back here seems to be indicating. Yeah, I wish we had like a like a what do you call it? Like a not a vault. I guess it is like a vault, but like you know where you like pull yourself over. There's got to be more enemies. You can't give me a mission that I can't accomplish, can you? Can you? Can you? That's not cool. Are you here? Whoa, there you are. Give me that good stuff. <gasps> Heavy ammo. Yes. Thank you. This is going to be awesome. Reload that big bad boy. Where are these guys at? They're like in the ground. There must be enemies over here. Hello, blue thunder. How do you make your thunder blue? Teach me your ways. Shouldn't there be like a plethora of... of... Oh! Get, get lit! Get lit up! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, what you think you're doing? Looks like a needler. But it was just like a piece of armor. Oh. Something drop in? What is that noise? Oh, yes, good. A ship! Drop some dudes, please! I need to fight! <laughs> oh, yes. Dropping mines to clear the area. That's smart. And here they come. Vandals and drags. You're gonna be dead if I didn't say so. Now, I'm gonna say it later. I need to kick you out of my zone. Don't let me in. Oh, no! Stop killing them. I need to get them. There we go. Mission complete. All right, now what? And 10 reputation. Yes. All right. Another freaking spaceship of doom. I know there's another mission. Oh, there's one here? Where? Let's get this one. Before these goon squads come in. Pick up the mission! Our fleet is growing, but we always need help. Our enemies hold things that we need. Specifics encrypted for your ghost. Ether subs required. Interesting. Take out fallen dregs and veils and gather the ether subs. Okay. This dude over here, I know it. Where are you? There you are, slow bro. Ah! Knife to the head! Now you're dead. Give me your subs. 14% ether sub required. Um, so... Uh, to me, this is the only scary part about Destiny. Like, having to wander around, wait for enemy respawns. I don't know how much I like this. Like I said, the actual game itself is always fun. Like, running around fighting guys is so enjoyable that... I don't really have too much trouble doing this, but like I mentioned a second ago, without repeating myself, like I really hope that missions make up the majority of the game, because those seem to be much more uh, focused, and, and their design is obviously more intriguing and something that I would want to really play a lot of. Ooh, good, good work. Kind of working together here. My team, um, we can kill guys that looks like together and pick them up. Ugh, get out of here. Drop those subs, take them down. Dregs and vandals, don't be a clown. Clown around town. All right. It's so pretty. Don't jump in this hole, though. It's bad news. Don't go in the pit. You will not survive. The water is peaceful, though. Hey. Boom! Toe shot. That heal. It's a sensitive spot. You don't want to get hit there, do you? All right. 86%. There's ammo on the ground. And we'll feather that guy. Pick up our ammo. Looks like they're just constantly making drops of enemies so that you have dudes to fight as we complete our mission. We're getting just a little bit of XP. A little bit, but everything helps as we try to make our way to level 7 here. Killing guys gives us XP, and so do these missions. Um, There's got to be a few more, right? More beacons? Where are the rest of y'all beacons? So these guys are kind of respawning. Boom. Whoa! Ouch. That hurt. Oh, that's a nice super jump. Ooh, yes! Boom! Headshot. Boom! Yeah. Good golly, Miss Molly. Get out of here. Whew! Clearing the battlefield. Get some 65 XP. That was good. That was a nice little, uh, nice little series there. Okay. Are there any more beacons? Yes, there's one this way. Can I bring out my sparrow, then? I can, nice. 
Whoa. All right, I want to venture back to some of the other areas as well, because you guys said there were some chests that I might have missed. But first, let's head over way in the corner here. Oh, actually, it's going to be this way? Okay. All right, this is uncharted territory, I believe. Reload. Ooh. Going in the back corner here. Bright lights. Aha! Another area. Dudes are doing work. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of beacons over here, huh? Let's grab one. Come on, we can do this, Guardian. Beacon! We need data from this location to confirm some of our studies. Okay. Classified details follow. Alright, go get the classified data. Scan these munitions. Where- Why are you making me go back here? I was just over here. <laughs> You're driving me all around crazy. We was just in this zone, baby. Okay, what is that big thing? Oh, it's just a ship, okay. Oh, I'm going inside. I see, alright. Am I? Am I not? Oh, I am. No? No. Get a sample of Iridium. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. First, I should probably clear the area, though. Mulukin! I'm, I'm not using my superpower. I probably should have that, you shank. Alright. Still a few guys left. Maybe there's purple ammo, though, so I want that. Give me that purple ammo! Yes. Alright, we're clear for a second. Now then, let's scan this up here. We just chill up here? No, oh, scan the environment. Ooh, look around. Come on, ghosty. Take some pictures, panorama, and we're good. <laughs> All right. Mission completed. Secured it all. Let's move. That one actually gave us a lot of XP, so I think we should probably head back into this direction. And I guess we'll just continue on our quest for more of these side missions, building our way to level eight. Now, like I said, if you guys want to see Crucible competitive multiplayer, let me know in the comments below. Um, point out some of the chests. I'll try to go pick them up for more gear. I'm pretty happy with where our character is now. We're just trying to grind out some XP. Let me know your thoughts on Destiny 2. I'm always curious to, to read what you guys think. I love going through the comments and seeing you guys and all that you're saying. Oh, we got a lot of areas. Look, there's probably stronger enemies over here and stuff. It's kind of a longer episode, but since we are just kind of exploring and running around, I figured I would let, let it just kind of ride out for a while. Okay, there's there's quite a bit of stuff. So we just we kind of done our first side mission quest here, but there's a lot we can do as we now drive through. Where are we going? I think this is just a passageway. Probably from the beginning of the level to the end of the level. Ow? Yeah. I think we're going back to the beginning. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Don't drive indoors. It's dangerous. Drink so much, all. We'll see you all later.